Yo yo yo, what's up, what's up? Managed to find Mr. The Boss, Babus. What's <laughs> up? You saw you're playing his cartouche. Crazy. Uh, and I stopped starting bot lane because, of course, you know what happens bot lane, guys. You know what happens bot lane. Huh? You don't have a brain, you don't have a fucking brain. Look at this gameplay. Level 2. Here we go. Flash in, Amumu. Bandage in the fucking tower, flash ignite, boom, these nuts, space glide, come shot, one shot. Unreal, man. That's how they play. That's how they like it. Anyways, we just did a full clear, Pantheon went there, they didn't even bother fucking wording with Twitch. This is what it is, first blood, junk roll gap, he plays bugged. Okay, fixed, now we can see Penny has a kill. Kill shot 0 0 0. Go across the map, trying to fix this fucking lane. <laughs> fucking texting a bit here, I don't know why my sister is fucking Um at level 3. She stayed to push the wave with me, maybe press like a fucking Q, doesn't fucking matter. And here, what I'm doing is that, of course, we knew that Pantheon took 3 camps because he showed up with the 12 CS and only blue buff on him. Means all these camps are up. And I can just wait for the Gromp to spawn. Because he'll still be stuck here for a very long time. He has to clear this, this, this. The Pantheon doesn't clear like super fast or anything. And he has to recall and run back here. It'll be around like 5 minutes. And this camps will be long gone. Now, what we actually ended up doing is dive the Tartus. But I actually don't think this is worth it. Because we ended up using two summoners. Now they know my position on the map as well. Cartus is gonna TP, get all the fucking minions, cannon wave and so on. And I can't counter jungle anymore because it's too risky. I'm 1 HP, maybe Pantheon randomly rotates, maybe Cartus comes here, words, tries to contest the Gromp, you know. And I think Pantheon will be kind of fucked because without the clear wind, he would still be level 4 at about 7 minutes. When I could be easily level 6. Close to level 7 if something happens. It'd be a huge gap if I took those two camps with uh, how he played the early game as well. Now, thinking them in both lane and stuff, because of course Pantheon for sure was still gonna be around there. He was busy clearing the camps. End up running to Kartus, I have to take a few Qs, because you know I'm fucking Udi, I gotta run to him. But he actually plays super well with the Qs here. You see I was trying to like walk away a bit. Try to dodge at least one Q, because I know all I have to do here is dodge one Q. But he hit everything and yeah, then he hits a max range one from passive and I end up dying. So pretty fucking well played by him there. I think he also hit level 6 of that and ended up getting another kill. So he's sitting on a lot of fucking gold, he's almost at 3k. Then we walk here. I mainly walk here to cover this wave, but also cover my camps in case Pantheon was gonna counter jungle here. We end up catching this CV, which I know has no flesh, I just have a lot more uh, base MS, boots over her and shit. She ends up using plants, doesn't fucking matter. Fun. Then I will just clear to the upside, of course. Let's color crab. Kill some words. But the weird thing to me is that. I can actually walk into my jungle to try to steal the Raptors, even though he has no flesh, no boots, and he should be able to estimate sort of my clear speed, because I have bummies and two dark seal stacks, so it's not super slow or anything. And I actually almost even ended up uh, stealing these Raptors. I didn't smite, but it was 1 HP. Just stun him, stay on him. And it's pretty fucking stupid, he could just use the E with stacks, get the 60% movement speed and get on this plant. And yeah, maybe he would force my flash, because I would probably flash into river, get the water working movement speed and run him down. Yeah, so he's dead, why the fuck not? Also looted the blue buff. A big lead over him right now. He's gonna close to level 6. Kill. I'm gonna get Krags red. And here I'll just recall. Make sure I protect this dragon. Because I think this dragon is super valuable here. Especially on Udyr against this champion. 9% armor and the Mari is so much. Darius is gonna get some resist items too. 
And actually, we end up getting a Trialtor again. Like, I don't even know what the fuck they're doing, dude. The Elo Hell, uh, fucking Brazil, yeah. Twitch is one with being them. Pray and pray. I like that he's not walking up into the Pantheon W or anything. He's a bit patient. And now, when he knows Pantheon is alone, they cancel his shit. Even if they stun Amumu, I don't think they kill him with Brown Passive. And they all die. Even with the card to sold. Pretty fucking pathetic, isn't it? I don't know what the fuck this dog is doing, man. Like, he really struggled to carry this scene. I don't know what's wrong with him. Like, sure, maybe if you all play this really well, but like, why not just sit back? You know, he's taking the tornado and you just walk in it. You are, he's not even that close to the tower. You don't have Q, you don't have W, uh, no E. What are you gonna do? Like, you don't even get to trade. That's so fucking lame. Maybe he was trying to like low key bait or something, he just ends up losing all the minions. And what I did here, which I think is not worth, is going for the Asso. Just go for the Drake, man. This is super fucking good. Sure, I get some Darkest Takes, I get a kill. But I gave them an opportunity. Not only I used Smite, so I can't use it to secure the Drake, but if they wanted, they could contest it. They just uh, chose not to. I know, even then I just end up losing the Herald in the end because I went for the Astro kill because I think I would be able to get a break and protect the Herald at the same time. That's not too bad because the kill on the Astro gave me a software right away. So we are walking here with fucking 10 Dark Souls decks. The kill Bows proxing, maybe didn't expect me to come here right away since he saw me take the Drake. And then here, what I wanted to do, show you. I don't want to give my first shutdown or the Dark Sticks or anything like that. So, I'm not gonna walk up to the Pantheon, even though this Pantheon can't kill me. I have 135 armor. But, he's coming with Brown, and I want him to use the W on the Syndra to make sure that I clean them up easily. Even though they killed Syndra, fucking useless. Let's get the free double kill. Get the summoner that gave flashes, but I was still hitting him with the burn, and that's it. Who cares if they kill the 0 3 Syndra? Gotta play for myself there, make sure you don't give a shutdown. That's gonna be extremely fucking dog. I'm losing Dark Sela so. This guy went for a crown of the shattered brain. I would say it's not turbo useless this game, but I don't think it's good either. It's such a good game for Luden. You one shot these champions with Syndra. And also, you know for sure that they won't buy MR for a fucking Udi Syndra, probably. And yeah. These champions can buy MR, like what is Yasuo gonna buy for MR? He can go Malmortis, he has to go Shibo. Maybe he goes for a Witsend if he's super fucking greedy. But no way he will. Pantheon. Uh, Pantheon honestly maybe could, like third item. Maybe he could go for like a Moe, Kartus can't, Sivir can't, Brom can't. Gotta be other items. Much more important. Especially CBR has to go for an LDR 100% here. Against our champs. Of course, the eternal Udir bug. He also dashed to me, so I missed uh, 339 damage. Not a big deal, guys. Crazy bug right was told me. You know, I think it's uh, not, for not worth fixing like many months ago, actually. But not worth fixing, guys. Udir is getting rewarded anyway. I lost so many fucking games because of that bug. Uh, I one time really said that I couldn't clip that because the replay expired, I forgot to like record it and the next day it expired. I really had dodged my art three times in like a short fight with her Qs, just spamming Qs and shit. Imagine you miss like a thousand magic damage <laughs> on your auto text. Like, I don't know, imagine you play fucking any champion that does damage with auto text, like Camille or something. I really have this history and your Camille Q doesn't deal damage. It's so fucking dumb. Such a stupid bug. It's been like that for like two years. So. Of course, got a Magi here, stacking the Magi, the book. Why the fuck not? I mean, I usually buy it anyway, even if I don't have many sticks. It's just too juicy, man. You know what you're doing with Udir. Once you get the Magi stacked, it's really hard for them to kill you. And even if they kill you once, you're still gonna respond with like 15 stacks. As long as you have 10 stacks, it's really, really fucking valuable. The very cheap item, you get a mythic passive, movement speed. 
Which one? Sure, super cheap version of Cosmic Dive. But Woody is a champion where you can really have a lot of agency over losing the major stacks or not. Especially if you are ahead, because you're gonna be really hard to kill. In a game like this, unless they get a super fucking crazy change to suit like Brown Passive into Brown Wood into Pentium W, Yasuo, R, whatever, they aren't gonna kill me. Just have to play properly around my teammates. That's it. Just take another Herald. From here, it's pretty much just getting everything on the map, punishing them when they ink, and that's it. We're just too ahead. They can't do anything. Of course, both me and Baus are stuck in Elo Hell. <laughs> I just ran it, man. Really bad idea to spend like 15 20 games a day. My account was doing really well, and I just uh, ran it. Because you have to be really, really focused. Like, not only to not make mistakes. Making, not making mistakes is one thing, but the biggest mistake you should avoid <laughs> is capitalizing on opportunities. If you don't capitalize on all the opportunities that you get, especially in a champion like Udi, which is very hard to get fed on, unless, of course, people run it, like in this game. This is a pretty fucking boring game, of course. Then you're not gonna carry the game, so yeah. Especially, like, bad teammates. Woody has to be ahead to carry the game. You have to get kills, you have to get uh, farm leads, and so on. Like, here I'm beating the enemy just with my items. Uh, of course, my base kit is not necessarily weak. Uh, but I'm mostly beating them with my items, that's how Woody scales. Uh, just gets a lot of farm levels and takes over the games. It's gonna be a lot more consistent uh, with the new with it. Not so reliant on early game and snowballing. So, in fact, his early game probably not that strong. Uh, although, I don't know if it's too weak, but they definitely nerfed his early game. Definitely, definitely. And improved his mid late game a bit. Which I like a lot more because right now Uri is way too strong early game. And then if you don't get leads, you are pretty fucking useless. And usually, I have to get really fucking fat leads to carry. Let's rewatch this team fight again. I'm trying to play it low. That's the thing with you. You just gotta be patient. Because playing a game like this, you have to use the mental warfare a bit. You are a fucking full build with 25 major stakes. What are enemies thinking? They are thinking, let's FF. Please FF, why are you voting no? This Udyr is unkillable, Udyr is broken, this game is so unfair, I hate League of Legends. That's what they are thinking right now, right? And if they see even a small opportunity to kill you, they are gonna be like, holy fuck, let's all use everything, let's kill this Udyr, balls to the walls, they don't care, right? As you can see, I walk here, and Pentium W's me, w's me right away. Is that even a good play? Probably not, because Kratos is very far away. CV is not yet in range, just for his bot lane. He doesn't even see where my teammates are. Not the best uh, thing ever, but he's really desperate. His mental is completely fucked. Look, they're just hitting me there. Holy shit, fucking hit the Woody. CV walks up in mid range because he wants to hit the Woody. Almost fucking dies just with like one life. Got saved by Locket. And then I will give them the opportunity to stun with Brown, Brown passive and just committing. 24 7 because I know what Ivo Scartus has and Sibri can still hit me while I'm not able to hit her. Uh, unless I flash on her or something, but I don't want to commit flash right now, especially because if I make this. We just gotta play a bit slow. Then we just ended up waiting for the Amumu, smite the Sibri, go in, whatever. It's pretty much brain at this point because I'm way too fair, they don't do damage. I also get a pretty standard build, but it's just the best build in this game. Sapphire makes the most sense in a game like this, they're gonna be stacked on top of me. I did a lot of damage. Frozen Heart is just the best item against uh, auto attack champions like Yasuo Sivir that based on attack speed. Really good against Pentium and even Brown passive a little bit. Then I go for a Force of Nature because I'm turbo fucking fed. If I wasn't like turbo fed, maybe I would take a Gargoyle, but I want to make sure that Kartus is out of the game as well, since he is pretty much the main threat against me. So that he's building all this uh, glass cannon stuff. I reduced 659 damage from Gartus, which is quite a lot. Then I end up with a Gargoyle, like the Dragon, called the Baron, and I'll have full build of 22 minutes with like a bit more gold. Let's take the Baron, Raptor Scrax, that's it. We got the Gargoyle. 
from that point, we get no much armor in the map from Gargoyle that is uh, killable, it's unkillable. Even if they find a way to somehow chain CC me with every single ability, burst me down in a chain knockup CC, I'll just press the Gargoyle and walk away. Here, I can group with my team, but and even dive towers. I just want to make sure we work on these towers. A lot of the games are lost nowadays in solo queue because people don't fucking take the towers. Making sure you get the towers with the lead is just pretty fucking good. Which means I'm so fucking strong, I can basically 1v3. And that's it. And another thing you have to make sure of in uh, games like this, and let's imagine I was a software, maybe crack, can PD, LDR on Sivir. Maybe Yasu has another completed item, and these guys are pretty strong in terms of damage as well. I could still die if I tank all of them at the same time. And because I want to make sure we're in the team fight, you have to just let Darius, Amumu, whatever, go kill themselves. Just get CCs on them. They will have to waste cooldowns eventually. You just have to be a bit patient, and then you clean up, you just guarantee that you won't be five them. That's about it, guys. Just doing a little bit of uh, clickbaiting with the boss. This wasn't the best game ever or anything, just something standard. I'm really excited to play the new Odir, though. That's gonna be a lot of content, I'm gonna make a lot of videos, play a lot of new Odir on Twitch. Anyway, thanks for watching, boys, if you made it here. Have a good one. I'm gonna prepare some spicy videos soon. Some uh, spicy games actually. Thanks for watching boys. Bye bye.